Today around 12 o'clock, um, we had officers um, from the warrant team. They were out trying to serve warrants on, on two people. Um, I'm going to withhold their names uh, so that we can notify family because one of them, one of them's been shot. And we want to make sure that mom and dad and everybody knows they're okay and those kind of things. Um, but we had uh, a couple of vehicles chasing the guy and a girl. I think the girl was driving. Um, bad guy gets up with an AK-47 style weapon and starts shooting at our officers and hitting the car. So our officers returned fire and it uh, ended up over off of 221 on Thurgood Marshall, Julian Bond area uh, in, that, in that general region. And um, bad guy, when we got out of the car chasing him, he starts shooting at us some more. So officers returned fire. I know they hit him in the leg, don't know which one, don't know how high up or whatever. But um, the bad guy proceeds to go and kick a door open, go home uh, with a, an older lady there, a grandma and a granddaughter was in the home. And, uh, we were able to take the guy into custody with no more shots being fired. Now, first the thing I want you to know um, is the officers acted so professional um, in the training, you know, they, they had a right to shoot at him and mower. Could have killed him. Obviously, we are thanking God that nobody was killed, especially our officers. And I think that the good Lord, well, I know that the good Lord put an edge of protection around them uh, to keep them safe. And a few of our cars have been shot up. And, um, I want the community to know that um, that's not going to be tolerated. We're um, we're trying to be prepared for those things. We certainly don't want those kind of things to go on, but. Deputies are not going to tolerate any of that kind of behavior at all. Um, you know, we're right here protecting and serving. We were just going to serve some warrants. They went from there um, to several attempted murder, burglary, first degree. Um, a lot of bad things is going to happen now for, for this guy and this girl because of their actions. Um, I'm telling you, it's only by God's hand that a number of officers got shot. We, we don't want to hurt anybody. And I want y'all to hear me say that. But we're not going to be fired at. And we're not going to be... not going to be treated that way. We're going to be professional at it. I'm thankful that the bad guy didn't die. I mean, I am. But uh, I'm also thankful those officers had enough courage to keep approaching a guy that had an AK-47 style weapon um, and, and didn't, didn't just fill him up with holes. Those, those kind of things tend to turn out real bad one way or the other. So we're very, very thankful that none of the deputies were hurt and we'll give God thanks and praise for that. Um, we got a lot of people started texting and saying they're praying for us. I want you to know that all our guys are good. Our guys and our girls are good. Um, the lady was found like one block over after she ran and went into a home. I'm not sure how she got in this home. I'm trying to still figure that out. But uh, every charge that can be put on was going to be put on. I mean, that, that's generically basically all I can tell you. Uh, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, anytime we have an officer involved shooting, we always make sure to, to let them check and double check and make sure that everything is done correctly from all first appearances, it certainly was. So, you know, I appreciate the community um, that has reached out and some people have stopped by, you know, when they sent us out there want to make sure that we were all right and make sure we were good because that's the kind of relationship that we got in our communities and we want to keep that. Um, but we're not going to tolerate that kind of behavior, so I want you all to hear that. I'm not going to talk to your buddies, talk to your friends. It's not a good idea you know, to try to hurt us because we're just simply not going to tolerate that. Nobody in the country is going to tolerate that. So, um, you know, they, some, some of the people that we have to deal with, um, a lot of it is just a warrant. And you still get a day in court. You know, and there's a possibility if your attorney can prove that you didn't do it, then you know, let you go. But it's pretty final when you have to do some shooting. So, I'll, I'll try to answer questions if I can. But, what were the warrants for? Um, I know one of them on the 
guy was uh, drug trafficking, I believe both of them were actually, and there was five warrants on him and four on the girl. Sure, can you just describe the gun to us a little bit? Was it registered? Was it bump stock? Don't, don't know that yet. Don't know any of that. Um, I know one thing, it was being fired at our deputy, so I don't really care if it was registered or stolen, but um, I don't understand. When people are talking about gun control, these are the kind of people that's going to have them. 